newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, there's certainly get a lot of rain out there in old Mississippi, Louisiana, and I know it's going to be going up into the northeast, so hopefully it'll dissipate a little bit and it won't be as bad as people are saying. I posted a chart of the FTSE, and I've also posted the chart of the DAX. Uh, they have a potential to be making some type of a topping pattern in here sometime between the 20, uh, the 31st of August of this year and the 31st of August of 2029. One of those years, there might be a top. Who knows? Folks, today's a big anniversary date. You probably don't remember this, but today's the day that Princess Di passed away. I was on the phone with uh, uh, Arch Crawford. It was uh, very early in the morning, and we got the news uh, that uh, she had uh, you know, been killed in an accident, and it was... Uh, quite sad and of course we had to go through all the the funeral stuff but it was a big anniversary date and i wanted to bring it to your attention and the reason why i'm bringing it to your attention you know arch is retired but in his letter that week he said that one of the biggest things that had happened to, as far as astrological was a a situation where there would be news about unrequented love i don't know what that meant but uh I guess love that didn't come to pass or whatever it happened to be, and it happened to be on the exact date that he said it would. So uh, it was interesting that, you know, he did that. Astrology does that, but of course it misses a lot of things too. But, but speaking of astrology, we're going to have Shane Smolian as our guest uh, tomorrow. And then on Friday, we will have uh, Tim Bost as our guest. We have some new guests coming on, too, folks. We're going to have Jim Bartolioni. He's one of the four Top Gun pilots that I've trained over the past 30 years. He's going to be our guest. And I have one of Bart's charts here in just a few minutes. We're also going to have another old favorite coming in, Mr. Joe, who loves to be on the show, DiNapoli. Joe DiNapoli will be coming back. And we're going to try to get Joe on a regular basis about once every two weeks because he's, he's a very good uh, uh, speaker and he, he loves this stuff and he's got some great information and it's of course a lot of it is shorter term which we like here because it, it qualifies our risk you know as uh, easy as possible so that's uh, that's what's going to be uh, looking at that yes the bark charts <laughs> bark charts he should trade uh, uh, he puts a thing out on uh, I don't know what it is, Telegram or YouTube, that uh, it's called Bart's Charts. Since we're talking about that, I'll bring it up here right now. He did this specially for me. I don't know if it's in Bart's Charts yet, but I'm sure it will be. Just get up here and take a look at it. This is the um, NASDAQ uh, since the beginning, back in uh, 19, October of 1974. And remember, that was uh, the, the first uh, crash day. The second crash day came in December of 74. That was the big crash. That was my big learning experience. You'll notice that the high, when the NASDAQ hit uh, basically uh, 5,000 back in uh, 2000, when we had the dot-com bubble, we had the, it dropped uh, just about 80%. It did drop 80%. And then, of course, we've had a little bit of a rally since then. But pay attention, folks, because something very interesting happened last night. You'll notice up here that uh, Bart is talking about mathematical and patterns coming together. And you'll see the prices that he has here in the NASDAQ is 15463 and 15696 Folks, the high in the NASDAQ last night was 15680 so I don't know if that's close enough or not, but 
this is a this is a real interesting chart. The ABCD is is correct because you have to move the arrow to the right to catch the high, and then to catch the low. That's the only way he could get it and put it on the chart at the same time. So, that is a giant ABCD pattern. As you know, we like those now. I, I don't know where the top is, and nobody else does. Well, somebody knows, but they're not telling me. But remember, we talked about the one that uh, John Jameson did for us, and that is this one right here where we're looking at uh, no less than four major ABCD patterns coming in to the S&P at 46.10. We got as high as 46.42, 45.42, with the high up here is 46.10. They're all the same number, green, gold blue and red all come in at 4610 so uh, and we're not very far away from that a little bit of good news here and there uh it would probably uh probably make it without any trouble the one thing i i'm 100 percent sure of folks i mean a little more than 100 percent, maybe 110 percent or more i'm as convinced about this being the high for the rest of this decade as i was at the bottom in 2009 because uh it was just, this has just got all the earmarks of a technical bubble that you can possibly ask for. And not only that, it has the final thing that uh, that you really need, and that is it just doesn't give up. You know, day after day, new people come out saying, this is the high, this is the high, this is the high, and that's it. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to, sure, I'm going to try it once or twice uh, if I get a really good entry point. Uh, then I'll then I'll take a look at it. It's all all about how much I have to risk. I don't care whether the top is in. I don't get any extra money for for whether the top comes in or not. I I don't really care about that. I just want to get a low risk trade. We had one today uh, in the Nasdaq. If you follow what we what we teach here about three eight two, that's exactly what we had in the Nasdaq. That it broke, it, well. It broke a lot overnight, okay? Then it rallied back to a 38% retracement at 15,610, and then it broke 200 handles. That's $2,000, and uh, that's the type of thing. Now, it doesn't all, you know, if it doesn't continue to go down, then all that was was just a short-term pattern that completed, and when that happens, you certainly have to, you have to respect that. Now, right before I came on the show, we had the folks from Think or Swim, and they were talking about softy. And let's take a look at this. You're going to see here a chart that is, uh, if you had to buy any of the NASDAQ stocks, this would probably be the one to buy because uh, it went from uh, around 60 to uh, remove 500%. So 500% would have been a lot better than if uh, you had done just the regular NASDAQ. And you can see here just a just an absolute parabolic move. I mean, this is... This is the definition of a parabolic move. We've had a couple of small corrections. I mean, a dollar here, dollar there, and it really doesn't uh, make a whole lot of difference. But it, it will come, and when it does, uh, just be prepared for it. A lot of people are, are giving warning signs. Remember, we had Jeff, uh, you, John, from uh, uh, Alpha Insights, and we've had Tim Bost on. We've had, uh, well, Stan Harley on, and you've got me every day warning you. But... Uh, don't pay any attention to it until the top is made, folks. That's the bottom line. That's what you want to be looking at. We're going to take a little break here, and then we're going to uh, take a look at these grains uh, this morning. 877-927-6648. rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. And before we get into the greens, I wanted to work on the U.S. dollar index. I want to make sure I got this thing in here so you'll take a look at it. This is an hourly chart going back over the past month. We had that big bottom down there in August. Then we had the nice rally, beautiful ABCD up there at around 93.70. That's where we had a chance to get long to euro. And you notice here we've had this big move down. And now we're starting to get down. We're almost at the 61% retracement here in this U.S. dollar index. And that's what we were watching this morning. And since we had that and since we had had such a very nice move in that, and I'll get this up here to give you a rough idea, because this is the actual upside down version of that, you'll be able to see that the euro was actually uh, making that number and making a perfect ABCD from that 382 retracement that we made back here on the 27th. Remember, we were looking to go long down there at that 117 level, and this had 150 pips in it, which is no small amount. And so this is why we thought it would be the best time uh, to do it. I know those of you that uh, follow the stuff quite a bit can see the three drive pattern that happened between the 26th the 27th and the 31st. It's a very nice three drive. That was also part of the reasoning to take that. And we've broken all the way down now to uh, the, uh, uh, we went, went below the, uh, we're back into the 117s again. So uh, we'll be watching a good place to uh, get back in this in the next day or so, but not today. We're going to be able to just stand aside and wait and see uh, what's going to happen. Yesterday, we had a nice long, long conversation with uh, Mr. Z about the grains, the fact that they've been hit pretty hard and the, the news had uh, actually turned a bit bearish. And you can see the bearishness coming in today as you look at some of these things. The one we're going to uh, start out with today is the uh, nearby corn. This is the uh, September corn. It's a maverick month, but it's still being traded. You'll see here we have an ABCD coming down here. Uh, about another three or four cents lower. But the one that you want to be watching if you're looking at corn is to pay attention to the Christmas corn, December, because this is the one that uh, we just had a beautiful 30 cent move in that. And uh, when we happened to be long that and had that nice rally that it lasted about five days. And you'll see now that what we're looking at here, as you look at this uh, December corn, you'll see the high that we made back here where the ABCD was made back on August the 8th. That's when that really bullish report came out. Remember that? 
I mean, the thing went, uh, we rallied uh, 45 cents a bushel going right up to the top of the ABCD, a tiny bit above the 78% level. It went to exactly 0.84. And then what happened is you came all the way back down. We were able to buy it down around the 529 level where we took out the previous low, and we made a very nice profit in that one. And now look where we are right now, folks. We're sitting right at the 786 of the whole range from July. Corn should be as high as an elephant's eye during the month of July. Anyway, you notice here that we went right down to the uh, uh, 525 level. I haven't checked it lately, but I thought it was trading at around 528. I have not issued a buy in this because I, I want to give it a little bit of time just because of the fact that uh, it's come down so hard. And now we're in a reverse weather market where the weather uh, might be a, a – uh, a turnaround and be a good factor for the grains here. So I want to wait one day, and then possibly I'll be able to uh, get in and uh, you know be able to get in and and make that uh, trade. But right now I'm just just waiting to see what happens uh, with the December corn. Now another one in the grain market that we want to be watching is the. It's been very bullish. It's been the leader of the pack, just like the Nasdaq has been. Has been the uh, December soybean oil. This is a cooking oil and paint and stuff that they use it for. But you notice here down around 57.72, down from about 70 pips, from where we were just a little while ago, comes in a beautiful 78% retracement, and several other ratios coming in. You can see the butterfly pattern that's there also. So with a little bit of a trained eye that I, most of you already have that, that 57.72 will be a very, very low risk trade. So you, the buy would be right around 57.72. You have to risk about 60 pips. So that would put your, your stop right around the 56, uh, 156.92 uh, level. That's what I would be uh, looking at if I were watching this from this. So we'll see if that's going to be the... Uh, the case on some of these grains, but boy, they have been hit really bad. Another one that looks real interesting from a long-term standpoint. Take a look here. This is the the spot uh, meal market, folks. Soybean meal, which is 80% of the plant. You can see here we had that uh, big top up here uh, back in May. The market actually topped. Uh, well, the, well, you have to you have to call the uh, the May as the high because that's a part of the growing season. We actually topped in May and we've been down. I mean, this meal market's just been getting hammered really, really badly, and now we're we're breaking down below the 61 percent retracement. But you have to remember that is the nearby meal, and you want to watch December meal because that's new crop, and new crop is where the action usually is. So what we'll you, do now is we're going to take a look at the December meal, and you're going to see a totally different chart with a same pattern but a different chart because you're almost at the 61% retracement of the whole move. You can see the three drive to a top pattern that we made in May. We focus three drive to a top patterns as often as we can, folks, because they work about 70% of the time, and man alive when they work. They really work. You can see this one this is a perfect example of that. And they also do the same thing on the upside because if a three-drive pattern is no good, you're going to be out of that in a heartbeat and thanking the good Lord that he kept the door open for you because, uh, you know, these things can explode to the upside to, to, you know, just to go nuts, and you don't want to get involved with that. That's what the pattern recognition is for, folks. It's for risk control because when the patterns fail, that's basically uh, – what you want to uh, what you want to do? You want to just be able to stand aside and and wait for the next train that comes by. That's really uh, what you're trying to do. So that's uh, the ten four on that one. Now we got another one here that we want to take a look at here that I think is uh, relatively important, and that is the wheat market because everybody likes to have some pancakes and bread once in a while. Here is the long term picture in the wheat. We had the giant A B C D pattern. Uh, that was also a three drive going back to January to May and then into uh, August. Uh, that number was right up there, perfect ABCD, and we alerted the folks to that. And look at this really closely, folks. I mean, this is a daily chart, and if you look at it really closely from the time of mid-July to uh, the end of August, you can see an abs or to the middle of <laughs> beginning of August, you can see a beautiful three drive to a top pattern. Uh, going in right above making new highs at a three drive to a top pattern and a double top and an ABCD. And uh, we put that order in. Unfortunately, we missed it by about three cents. 
<laughs> which is uh, sometimes a little more common than we'd like to think. But that's uh, that's what happened. Now, this is still relatively very, very bullish, folks. So you've got to pay attention to the uh, to the wheat for a good bounce because the rest of this stuff getting killed, the wheat isn't. And that is uh, really an important fact. So we are going to be watching that wheat uh, very closely because if this weather gets any wetter, I re recall from my old days of reading some of the fundamentals that you don't want too much wet weather coming into the harvest time of uh, September and October. 877-927-6648. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted a chart, a 15-minute chart of the uh, natural gas because we had that monster move. Then the big $3,000 sell-off. You notice we went down to 382. You notice on the bottom of the chart, folks, I, ma I marked two times. Uh, they're called key times. The reason why is the first bottom is the key time. And then I want you to see the second bottom because what happened 
the, this morning is after hitting the 382 twice, it went down there and it made new lows. But as you can see here, it didn't move a bunch. And that told you if you're, you know, using market feedback like you're supposed to, if you're an astute trader, you didn't have any sales in there. I mean, there were nobody, there was nobody selling down there. There were no stops being hit. And that told you that was a pretty significant bottom. And you can see we went all the way up and made a 1.6, uh, 0.618 retracement of the whole move up there at uh, 441. So when you're doing that, you know, it's very important to let market feedback feedback give you uh, some edge because it's very very helpful if the, if the news is really bullish and the stuff doesn't go up for heaven's sakes you know something's wrong and if the news is bearish and the stocks don't go down that's telling you a lot too so just remember that that news is there for a reason and pay close attention to it because uh, it'll save you a lot of money in the long run now let's have a little bit of fun here for the next few minutes we've got a situation here where uh, we can do uh, two things at once. But this is a picture of the uh, gold chart. You notice here we were expecting a bottom down there at around 1805. Uh, we got to 1803.90. We rallied all the way up to uh, 1817, and then we sold off. And we've been going sideways, but you notice the red line, the AI line, is now turning down. So the sell comes in at 1813. Uh, I know we just hit that because I saw it flash. <laughs> And uh, so uh, you sell at 1813. You don't have to risk very much here. If it gets above the 786, which is at 18, uh, 15 and a half, so you're only risking three dollars. Your stop would be 18, 15, 17. So, but your profit objective, because you have the half a day to go yet, you know, could be quite substantial. So that's how I I try to line that up during the day to give you an idea of what we're looking at. You can look here. Between 10 and 11 o'clock, you can see the perfect ABCD pattern we made from 1818 down to uh, 1810. We rally up to 1816. We come right down to the uh, ABCD level at uh, 1807. The low was 1806 and, and change. And now we rallied up to the FIB point. So we're watching that one really closely. So that's the kind of trade when we're uh, working on you know day trading and stuff those five hours that we do a few times a year that's a trying to trade that we're looking at I don't usually put the AI in but I have had some people have some interest in you know because it does work and it is helpful at times but the trouble is it's not 100% like nothing else in this business so we need to remember that uh, very very closely so we're just keeping a close eye on that uh, as we look here this morning. Now, the numbers that we showed you uh, on the ABCDs, those four colors, red, green, blue, and I uh, can't remember the other one, whatever it was, uh, you, you want to be able to uh, tell yourself that that is a possibility because there's four of them up there. But remember, you know, Bart just posted one that uh, showed that we're within 10 points. This may be... This could have been the high day uh, last night, if that's the case. Now, I, we're, we're coming into a giant anniversary date here uh, on September 3rd, uh, which is Friday. That's the anniversary date of the big high in the stock market on September 3rd, 1929. Folks, it took the market 27 years to take that high out. After that was in, I mean, there's never been, an, you know, that was the longest period that we went, but it was 27 years before the market finally started to move above. If you would have bought a house in Beverly Hills, California in 1929, which was one of the premier places to buy a house, uh, you had to wait until 1959, I believe. Yeah, it's 1959, almost 30 years later, you finally got back to break even. And I know the story that everybody's telling me, but look what it did after that. <laughs> and you're absolutely correct. But uh, I'm just giving you some information, whether it's important or not, I don't know. I have not had any luck with anniversary dates. I know WD Gann talked about it, but frankly, I looked at them and I went back and looked at a lot of chart. There's a few that work, but none to make any significant move. I bring that to your attention just because it was an interesting time in our history. And remember, we stop and think at the inventions that were going on in 1929, folks. We were getting electricity. We were getting air conditioning. We, you know, we were getting automobile. Everybody was getting an automobile. In fact, they were going to be able to afford it. We had telephones, refrigerators. I mean, my God, everything was coming to do at during those years. And yet we went into the worst depression the country has ever seen from uh, 
1932. We didn't start getting out of it until 39, and that's when we started to get ready for the big war. And uh, that's how depressions work. The only way you get out of them is with the big war. This time it'll be fought someplace that we'll never believe in, but that's neither here nor there. So let's remind ourselves we hopefully we won't have to go back. I don't believe it will be with China, folks, because China doesn't have to go to war. They just have the, the, the patience of Job to wait to, till everything lines up for themselves. And they, they go back and look at history. You know, they're not and They built that great wall to keep people out. And so they, they don't go to war. I mean, uh, and they have a big army. But, uh, you know, they certainly don't go to war yet. You know, maybe that'll be something down the road. So that's as far as I'm going to get with the politics today, folks. No question about it. Now, we need to cover a couple of stocks that, that we've been watching here because uh, the, the Tesla, of course, has uh, broken up quite substantially above that level we were looking at uh, yesterday, which was at the uh, 730 level. And uh, we have smashed through that. Let's get it up here so the folks can take a quick look at it and you'll see that we've definitely broken out on Tesla and uh, let's get it right here. Wow, we closed right at 7.30, that's really strange. Well, that's not really strange, but we closed right at the 7.30 level on uh, Monday and yet today's the day that the market gaps up and takes out those old numbers because we've shattered the 78% level, folks. So that gives an ABCD structure on this and, and I'll just do this for you right now. Not that I'm involved in this stock, and I wouldn't even buy a car that you can't hear the uh, engine on. But you'll see here, it gives you a minimum price objective of 780. Let's just bring this up so you folks can take a look at it. And that's what we're looking at. I did see a video last night. Someone sent me a video of the Apple car. I I have never seen anything that extravagant in my life, folks. I don't know. I has to be real, I think. But uh, I mean, this car was uh, did everything. It parked. It, you know, it was just an amazing, amazing vehicle. It was a sports car. I mean, it was. You know, this is not what they're going to be selling them. They're going to sell family cars. But this was a sports car. And if this is real, and that is an electric car, Tesla's in big trouble because this is a really uh, that's a really fancy automobile. That Apple. Wow. I was uh, I was just it looked like something right out of uh, Captain Kirk's garage uh, when he parked his uh, spaceship Enterprise on Mars or wherever he did it. But boy, that's an incredible car. It was uh, it was uh, really it was a combination of a 1935 Bugatti and a Dino Ferrari. It was uh, really an amazing uh, amazing thing. Okay, we've got a break coming up here soon. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you have any questions, you know how to get in touch with me, but the lines are full now. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. A prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com to hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com to hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back, and I've been asked to uh, take a look at copper here for you folks. Just give me one second here to uh, line this up so we'll be able to uh, to see this and see what we're going at right here. Hold on one second here. Uh, this is uh, copper. Let me get the chart up so you'll be able to see it without too much trouble. Uh, we made the uh, the big ABCD to the downside down there at 396. That, that That's not the ABCD that you're seeing here. Let's make sure we put it in here so that you're able to see the ABCD without too much trouble. There we go. That's the one you want to be looking at. Now we've had a very good uh, very good rally. We rallied from uh, 396 all the way up to 42. We're trading now at 437. That's right at the 61% retracement of the high that we made back in August. Now, if this is Dr. Tuck Copper, you know, we, we topped in copper way back in May, and, you know, we've still been going higher in stock. So Dr. Copper has lost his Ph.D. in market uh, uh, capability of predicting what the market's going to do because this has been diverging, you know, a great deal uh, from that letter. Folks, uh, one of the things that I mentioned earlier today is about, you know, market feedback. And, and the only way you learn how to do that stuff is to read books like The Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre, which is the story of Jesse Livermore, how he kept notes and what he watched for. You know, he, he would, you know, he would watch for when new lows were being made and the market had no follow through. That basically tells you that there's no stock, there's no market force coming in there that's going to uh, to help you move it. And that's that's why you've got to be extremely careful. Now, if you don't have the ability to stand in front of the machine, you know, and I don't stay in front of the machine very much, not at all, unless I have to. This is the most I have to during the day. I, it takes me about an hour and a half to prepare for the show. But then after that, you know, I wait for the beepers to go off, and that gives me a, an idea of what I'm looking at. You know, we had a uh, pretty good day today because the market did what we thought it was going to do as far as hitting 382s in the NASDAQ. And uh, the, the Dow did the exact opposite, but we were doing the NASDAQ. So there was a choice that had to be made, and we happened to see the pattern in the NASDAQ and not in the uh, not in the Dow. So that worked out all right. You know, sometimes, you know, you have, uh, you, know, you have luck on your side, and other times uh, you don't. So those are the main things that you want to keep in mind here to uh, watch what, what's happening with these things because they're very, very interesting when they, when they, do, uh, when they do happen. So let's uh, move on here now. Keep your stop above that 786 in the gold, folks. Uh, so you're risking about two bucks. You don't want to get it above, well, let's say 1816 would be my guess. Somewhere in that ballpark would be the area because it should start down now 
if it's going to turn down. I thought it would start at the 61% retracement, and it went up a little higher to the 78% retracement. So now what we're doing. This is the same trade like we had when we were doing the day trading thing back on uh, August 19th. And uh, we had a couple of really small uh, uh, break $100 profits in gold because of this type of really quiet action. And, and unfortunately, they ended up being really big winners. But, uh, you know, the time ran out and we didn't have any more time to go in the show and then the market broke at the end of the day now we've got enough time here because uh uh, the, the end of the day is quite a bit. So that's the main thing. I hope you understand, you know, the the in, the, the implication of doing this is uh, you got to keep your stops relative. And you're, if you're trading gold, folks, it's hard to trade it for less than 300 bucks. It really is. Uh, you know, actually, it's closer to $600. But $600 in a pattern like this is suicide. You don't need to do that at all. When you have everything lined up, it's either going to work or it's not going to work. It's that simple. No questions about it. Tomorrow, we're going to have uh, Shane's Mullion is our guest. He's got some very important things to talk to us about uh, regarding uh, cycles that are coming due. Uh, also, the Foundation of the Fo for the Study of Cycles have brought out their new uh, newsletter. If you're not on the list, uh, go and ask them. Just go to FSC, Foundation for the Study of Cycles. Ask for a copy of the book or the, this month's newsletter, and they'll be happy to send it out to you. Unfortunately, I don't have the link for it. I was just notified that it's on its way. And but you can get it easily just by going in and asking for it. it's got some good articles as always and uh, things that we like to see when we're when we're doing this give as much information as we as we possibly can. Let me see here uh, what I want to do one other thing get this out of the way here see if there's any questions in the den. Uh, no nothing else they're talking about football which I have about as much interest as that as I do in tiddlywinks and uh I don't have any interest in either one of those, so that's it. They're great athletes, but frankly, I just don't particularly care. My athletes have four legs, folks. I like the ponies because they live a very sub subdued life, and they don't have any bad habits, and uh, they don't always win, but by golly, they give you the best chance they got. And it's a, and, and, and it, you know the only good part of it is you don't have to watch it for three hours. It only takes about two minutes, <laughs> and it's only a couple days a week. Okay, let's move on here if anybody has any questions. 877-927-6648, and we'll be watching this. But, folks, I, I, I hate to get up on my soap rocks, but I will one more time. It's, you know, get ready for this, folks, because when this puppy, when this thing breaks, it's going to be like, uh, it's going to be like a Hoover Dam when it was full and breaking. Not now, because it doesn't have any water in it, but uh, it, this is going to be really nasty on the way down. I know everything looks great. You know, everybody's talking about it. Yeah, it's going to go higher, and it is, it's still going to go higher. It's still going higher. We don't know where the top is yet, but when the top is in, I'll know that. But uh, that that's where you want to uh, that's where you want to be careful, because you got a lot of 401k folks out there, and that's the main thing that you want to be able to do. That yes, uh, Larry Bird was one of my favorite. The uh, fact is, I, I googled one of the great athletes from Terre Haute, Indiana, Terry Dishinger, who played for Purdue University. I played against him at high school, and I was a friend of the family and stuff. He's a very very successful orthodontist up in Portland now. He just turned 80 years old. And he's in great health and everything. And uh, he's got a son that's uh, in the business. It's also a uh, orthodontist. And he's got about seven or eight guys working for him. He's got a huge, huge practice up there. And he deserves it. He's just a, a really nice human being. And his whole family was uh, very nice. Yet yeah. We have a call from Niagara Falls. We have Michael on the line. Michael, what's up, buddy? Yeah, hi, hi. Thanks for taking my call. Um What's the open interest figures on the E-minis and NASDAQ? Yeah. The NASDAQ um, open interest figures. You haven't mentioned figures. it in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I was just wondering, is it, are you waiting for the roll into the, into the December uh, contract? No, or? I, che I check them all the time. The problem is there's been nothing dramatic. The open interest in the NASDAQ has been dropping. Uh -huh. There's not uh, the s and S and P. The open interest is still going a bit higher. The Russell is going lower, so there's okay. no new buying in the Nasdaq up in here. This is all uh, the, the longs and shorts fighting it out. You know, they just basically break even every day. If we see a big right. drop or either way or increase, then we'll have a better idea. But nothing's going on right now. No drastic drop in the open interest. No, just no? small drops. No small drops. Just just small drops. Nothing. Nothing big. 
Nothing big at all. There were big big increases in the S and P last yeah. week on two days, but yesterday was not very much. And uh, so okay. we're up in an area here where it, it's just dangerous up in here. I keep saying yeah. that, but uh, you're talking to a man who's afraid of heights anyway. So don't listen to what I say, Mike. <laughs> yeah, look, Monday was such a narrow rally. Yeah. I mean, New York was down, Russell was down, the banks were down, yeah. 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 Dow Jones was down. Yeah. Well, we're going to find out soon enough, my friend. But thanks for calling in, buddy. I hope you can get all that water out of Niagara Falls up there to make some electricity. Thanks a lot, Mike. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the Australian dollar because if you remember last week, we were looking for that 382 retracement to hit, and it hit it spot on there at 7110. Uh, the low was uh, 7091, which was the exact. Uh, 382 retracement and of course we've had a pretty strong rally from this level. This is very important folks from a commodity standpoint because there's so many min mi mi minerals, uh, copper and a whole bunch of other stuff coming out of, Haw of Hawaii. Hello Larry. <laughs> Australia. So let's uh, keep in mind if we go below there that would be extremely bearish uh, for commodities and many of these are related to uh, China because they buy a lot from Australia, so 
this is a really key level, the fact that it hit that number and came out of there really strongly to, to jump two points uh, in that is very, very unusual. You can see uh, it doesn't have that big a move very often, but that's telling you that and it's continued. So that's the main thing to uh, to uh, take a look at. So let's keep in mind, if we get above that uh, 1816, uh, 1816 area, uh, say 181660 that would be a three dollar risk uh, this would be a losing trade in the uh, in the gold market so uh, but anyway I would uh, expect it to start coming down anytime now we would have sold it at 181813 and then we'll see if uh, 181340 and then we'll see if it gets above 181640 that would be a losing trade and you'd look to be make at least a three dollar profit on this because if you're risking three you should be making three and that's uh, that's what you'd want to be doing as you're looking at this now tomorrow we'll have Shane Smolian as our guest uh, we're going to have uh, Joe DiNapoli next week and then also uh, uh, Tim Bost on Friday will be a good one. And then J.C. Parrots from All Star Charts is going to be our guest uh, next week also. He's got a big following, and he's a very good Fibonacci technician with some great charts and does a lot of ETF stuff, though folks that trade ETFs will like him. So we'll catch you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.